Hi everyone, uh, this is a video update to somewhat uh, demonstrate uh, the uh, new uh, meter that I've uh, put together here and uh, also explain uh, where uh, I've made an error and um, you would somehow understand uh, how that was done. So first of all, I'd like to apologize for uh, being a little too aggressive and posting that uh, I'm uh, confirming that there is uh, energy going back to the batteries and recharging them. And uh, basically it was based on uh, utilizing the uh, circuit that is built into this meter here now. Uh, but at that time I didn't have enough meters uh, hooked up to see everything at every point and um, right now the circuit has been operating at uh, normal uh, like I had them in the previous videos so we've got 66 degrees Celsius it sometimes flashes at uh, 67 and um, on the resistor so the circuit is tuned to exactly uh, what uh, I had in the previous video and uh, it's drawing 25 milliamps and maybe I'll go over this meter here a little bit because maybe some people have missed uh, the uh, video that I made about it there was uh, a problem with the link I don't know what uh, was going on there but anyways uh, this circuit is a, a suggestion of uh, user point 99 on uh, an ability to measure the uh, current draw on uh, pulse circuit is some other way than the uh, standard uh, way here and what it's doing it's using two uh, 3900 microfarad uh, capacitors and the ones that I'm using now are rated up to 400 volts uh, each so that's why they're that size um, So here, this capacitor number one is uh, taking in the power from the source, in my case, uh, these batteries in series here at the back. And then the second capacitor here, the uh, connection on the negative is just bridging directly. But the, uh, on the positive side, we have a 10 ohm uh, resistor on that side there. And... Um, that resistor was selected out of five to be a very precise resistor. So it's even more precise than that 5% there. It's probably 1% uh, tolerance at this point. Um, so that uh, capacitor here gets charged and then uh, on this side is where we connect the, uh, the load, the circuit that you want to test and I've got the circuit set up in a way where I can switch it uh, directly to the uh, batteries or utilize a circuit. So this is how I was able to discover that I had made an error. If we uh, look at the front here, I've got two meters. This meter here is connected to capacitor number two, which is the side where the load would be connected and we've got 75.5 volts there and on my battery bank okay I have also my high quality meter there's six batteries there in series and we measure 75.8295 there so there is the difference there in voltage so that was my first error yesterday when I did the video I was only I was measuring capacitor number two with that meter and then when I switched it back to directly to the battery banks then there was this voltage increase and that's what I just suddenly realized well wait a minute that could only be if you know the energy is somehow going back to the batteries but I wasn't realizing that this capacitor had a voltage drop compared to this capacitor interesting enough uh, this meter here is connected between this resistor here and that indicates the voltage uh, across that resistor and it's 0.25 volts and uh, interestingly enough we have a 0.25 volt drop from this capacitor to that one and um, 
with that 0.25 volts, you divide that by the value of the capacitor, which is 10, and that gives you basically the amount of amps, and that would be point, uh, that would be actually 25 milliamps. All right. So this is uh, the circuit and uh, meter combination that I've all built together. It could be lifted all together; nothing falls apart. It's uh, very solid has good connections and all that and I can carry it and test uh, pulse circuits now and you know not uh, worry about uh, making errors or whatever very simple to use this uh, positive lead here is going to this uh, double pull double throw switch and this is the option that gives me the ability to switch off the circuit and as you see right now there is no uh, voltage measured across the uh, the resistor right now because it's going directly from the batteries all right so here we are again the uh, resistor there still heating and this is our voltage at the uh, battery bank so here I'll flip it back and forth we're back flip now on the uh, circuit okay and as you see there is, <laughs> interestingly enough, it just happens to be at one of those points where the battery's maybe just bumping up a little bit. Uh, but there is no savings as far as, uh, you know, going directly to the batteries. Okay, now it's restabilizing itself. So the circuit's in operation at this time. All right, and now I'll flip it. So as you see now, there is no voltage across that, but the caps stay charged because they're disengaged. And if we look at our voltage there on the batteries, it's, it's not going back up. So there is no voltage going back to the batteries. What I had mistaken is that plateau that happens uh, on the uh, batteries, and uh, it was going down at a very slow rate. And I had the two combinations, the boost of the 0.25 volts and the plateau being reached and the voltage drop being you know very very slow so that fooled me and uh, I guess we have to be more careful on to making uh, too quick of a conclusion so I'm sorry if uh, that has uh, brought up hopes uh, to anyone um, but I can't uh, conclude that there is energy going back to the batteries at this time. I have to withdraw that uh, decision or that um, statement. Here I'll do it again once more. I'll connect, switch back the uh, cap uh, bank circuit. There is still energy stored in the capacitors so basically probably that relieves the battery temporarily so that's why you might see the little quick uh, rise in the uh, voltage but it soon goes starts going back down and I'll flip it back the other way here again just to relieve it so you see we're going directly from the batteries now so if there is energy going back to the batteries, uh, there is no difference. So that's about it. That's about all I can do. Or we're reaching our 10 minute mark here. Um, we're uh, still at back as far as I'm concerned for myself back into continuing to test this to better uh, understand uh, if we are missing something or not. But I'm really happy that I've uh, built this uh, meter here and will be definitely using it from now on uh, to quickly and accurately measure uh, all my uh, circuits and determine uh, what is happening here or there. So thank you for your support and encouragement, and uh, we'll talk to you a bit later. Bye now.